We're back with the 2012 edition of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. This is Stu Jones, and I'm proud to continue the introductions of our Florida Powerboat Club members in their very cool offshore powerboats. This is George and Shannon Arduous from California in Team Donzilla. This is round two of the three poker runs they do every winter season. Next up is the Tampa Bay Poker Run, which is coming up March the 31st. Joe Sabo is from New Jersey, but he spends a lot of time boating in Florida. This is a 38 cigarette that he keeps in great shape, and it's been on one hell of a lot of poker runs in the last few years. Now we're moving in on Grant Freeman from Missouri and his 38-foot Donzi Ultimate Distraction, powered by Mercury Racing 700s. It's a very fast 38 Donzi, which was proven when he won the Lotto Shootout a couple of years ago. Here's a shot that never gets old from the cockpit of our Robinson R44. Ray and Pam Therrien from Massachusetts had so much fun on the Key West Poker Run, they decided to bring the whole family this time on their 42-foot fountain. It's too bad that we had to say goodbye to Fountain recently, but you're going to see a lot of these boats continue to be on poker runs for many, many years to come. This is Alan Lima from Grove Harbor Marina in his 38-foot cigarette. If I told you how long he's owned this boat, you probably wouldn't believe me, but I'll tell you anyway. How about 18 years? You know what they say, it's cheaper to keep her. Here's another cigarette. This is Anton Holstrom and Sister Deb in their 42X called Country Girl. I've always loved the look of this Dave Hunter paint job. Lots of cool colors and just the right amount of flames blended into the graphics. He's got the throttles pushed forward. This is Sean with Lisa Gallivan in their 39 foot Nortec, the one and only king of clubs. They're celebrating their first poker run together since having a baby boy just a few months ago and we'll even get to see the little munchkin when we get to the keys. Jeff and Tracy Henry from Nebraska are the newest members to the club, so let's give them a proper welcome to the club, gang. They're certainly arriving in style in this beautiful red 44 Outer Limits. If you wonder what it's like gliding across the water at 80 miles per hour in a 50-foot cigarette, this should help. The only thing we can't do is put the wind in your hair. Oh, what an awesome ride across Biscayne Bay as uh, we bring the 50 Marauder off plane and idle through Jewfish Creek. Captain David Branton here, the proud owner of a brand new cigarette. David, you got to be loving life today. Couldn't be better, man. Smiling ear to ear. Got my wife, got my friends. It's all good. Now, for a guy who's owned uh, every cigarette known to man, uh, how does this 50 Marauder with 1350s measure up? It's fantastic. It was built for my wife. Everything she wanted right where she wanted it. And... Uh, we're happy with it, she's liking it, so if she's smiling, I'm good. It's all about Leanne here, you know, because if Leanne ain't happy, then we can't have uh, we can't have fun. But let's swing around here to Leanne for a second now. Um, and Leanne, you know, we've been boating with you for probably 15 years, and we've had a lot of fun on a lot of boats, but you know, you really did yourself up a nice boat this time. Well, with the help of Phil, Lipship, we did it, we, it's great, we love it. There's a big rendezvous going on at Gilbert's in Key Largo as the Poker Run teams got settled in for their first stopover in paradise. Even with 500 feet of dock space, the captains had to be prepared to raft up with good fenders and plenty of lines. In true Gilbert's fashion, the food was hot and ready to be served, and it's probably a good time for Sarah to cruise around the crowd and hand out their second poker card for the day. And about Sean and Lisa's little baby, well, there's the little munchkin getting his first poker card. It's a beautiful place here in Key Largo on a sunny day in Florida. God, it is a hot day, Fred. Uh, i got to tell you, almost a record high today, pushing the 90s, and uh, a, long ways, a long ways from Fond du Lac, where you're going to be heading back soon. But uh, how's your vacation so far? It's not a vacation. I'm down here <laughs> circulating with my customers. The fact that it's 32 and snowing in Madison is uh, no <laughs> compensation for my wife. <laughs> Fred, uh, you must be pretty proud of the fleet here. I certainly am. But uh, looking around at all these Mercury Racing and a lot of your 1350s have gathered here. It's like the 1350 Club. We're going to have to give the club a new name. Uh, a lot of big power. What did you ride in today? 
I came down in uh, Derek's new boat uh, with quad uh, 350 Verados, Mercury mm -hmm. Racing engineered but built at our main plant. I wanted to get a ride in Skip's new boat and see how that felt. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of work and it was a delightful ride down with Derek and his family. And if I may be so bold as to correct Mr. Keycaper, it was a five-engine cigarette he wrote on today, not a quad. But who's counting? As long as there are Mercs, Fred doesn't care. When we return for our next segment, we'll take you back to the Miami International Boat Show for some more great highlights from the 2012 show just a week earlier, where we'll feature...